Hi everyone, this is Bilal Ahmed. In today's science class, we started from the topic 1.4, the topic about uh, rocks and uh, the environment, right? So in previous lesson in 1.3, we learned about uh, the animals and uh, their habitats. You learn about where animals can survive and what they need to grow. Today, uh, we started from the 1.4. It's all about uh, the rocks and uh, where rocks can be found, right? So here is a big picture where you guys can see uh, some rocks on these hands, okay? On the hands, right? Okay, so you have to, uh, we discussed about uh, look around where you guys can find the rocks, okay? So we discussed at school, uh, the rocks can be found on wall, okay? Because wall made of rocks, right? Uh, we discussed buildings, the buildings made of rocks, right? So we took experience from each, uh, stu each student to find uh, where rock can be found. Okay, we can use rocks to make a bridge. Okay, we use rocks to make a arch, okay, or statues. We can use rocks to make uh, walls, right? Or we can use rocks to make buildings, okay? So rocks can be found in many places, such as uh, on the mountain, on the land, and underground, right? So I hope you guys understand about rocks, okay? Look around and uh, find out uh, types of rocks, Okay, some rocks are bigger, some rocks are smaller. Okay, some rocks are tiny. Okay, so first of all, we discussed about the rocks underground. So some rocks uh, can be found underground, okay, such as under the mountain. You have to dig the mountain and take out the rocks or under the land. Right? So you guys can see this machine. Okay. This machine is taking out, uh, uh, digging, uh, digging the mountain and take out the rocks. And here you guys can see under the land. Okay. So rocks can be found underground, like under the mountain. You have to dig the mountain by machines or under uh, the land. Right? So we also learn about rocks at the surface of the earth, right? Here are the two pictures that shows rocks on the land, okay? So you don't need to dig, you don't need to go under the ground. The rocks can be found on the land, such as in this picture. So look, all rocks are different. Some are small, some are bigger. And here you guys can see the rocks have different shapes. Okay, we learn about why do we need uh, the rocks, okay? Where we can use the rocks. The first of all, we use rocks to make uh, bridges, okay? And uh, we use rocks to make arch pools, right? We use rocks to make statues for decorations. We use rocks to make walls and arch, right? So why do we use rocks? Because rocks are strong and they are hard. So rocks is the hardest material where we can make buildings such as schools, hospitals, 
okay and uh, we can make uh, these buildings okay pools statues arch and bridges and roads okay so here are the four uh, things we can make using rocks the first question is how have rocks been used to make the things shown in these pictures okay so i already explained bridge pool statue and wall made by rocks the next thing the next question is what other things do we make from rocks we can make roads where we can drive the car smooth house and buildings if you have more things in your mind you can write on your books right so rocks use to make different uh, buildings house and roads okay the number uh, three sorry in the we learn about uh, the properties of rocks we learn about uh, uh, the rocks are some rocks are hard some rocks are soft okay all rocks are not hard and all rocks cannot be soft some are soft some are hard some are shiny and some are rough so here is the picture you guys have you guys can see here are the color of this rock is uh, gray what is the property of this uh, rock it is gray color and you guys can see small dots in it right so think what rock is it it is granite okay and this is uh, granite it is strong right it is strong rock and it is granite it is very hard it can be used to make buildings okay this rock is uh, so soft <clears throat> it is soft and we call it limestone and this limestone used to make walls okay right this rock is marble okay we can make different shapes and uh, this is the waterproof rock uh, it is slate okay the water cannot be absorbed in the rocks okay the water will not absorb inside so we use slate so here are the properties of each rock this is granite it is strong this is limestone it is soft okay marble is shiny and slate is a waterproof okay in question three why do we find these different properties of rock useful okay why these properties of rocks are very useful for us okay because uh, granite used to make buildings marble used to make tiles and coal a raw is a rock okay that can be burned in a minute okay it makes uh, our make us warm from the cold weather okay so here all about limestone okay this is the rock you guys can see what does it look like it is gray with some dark gray parts and some lines in it so it can be granite okay the next thing we use uh, this rock to make walls it is hard okay it is limestone okay here are the properties uh, we learn about uh, the limestone the granite is hard the limestone is soft thank you so much guys for watching